Alright, well, I'm in my car. I've been in my car. I've been feeling dizzy, lightheaded, nauseous, sick, getting ready to pass out. Type. I don't know what they did to me at the dentist office on Wednesday, but I've had medicine or something taste in my mouth, indigestion, whatever else they decided they felt like wanted to force my doctor to do that day uh, on Wednesday, September 6th. All I know is I am weak right now. I've got the air on and I uh, pray that uh, Um, that everything works out okay and they catch these assholes who think they're going to keep trying to hurt me and my children. They can make me and my kids sick all they want, but they will go down and they will get busted. Every last one of them. I don't care who you are. And as that guy says, as he says, you want an apology? Not all cops are hurt or bad. There's a very few that decide they were gonna gang up on a people and uh, that's that. Domestic one minute and then be nicey nice the next day. Yep, that's what they are. So you will get busted if you did anything wrong to me on Wednesday. Because I cannot get this awful fucking taste out of my mouth. And it's nasty. It tastes like medicine. And it tastes like constant medicine being injected in my mouth every five fucking seconds. Now, I had to sit there for five minutes as I, my whole body got clammy. Broke out in cold sweats. Hot sweats. Oh yeah. I had to sit, lay back my chair, and lay down. So you will rot. That bitch is there at the dentist office if they think they were going to get away with what they did to me. They have another thing coming. You see how pale my face is? That's what happened to me from Wednesday. AC on made me feel a little bit better to where I can get home and lay down and pray that this fucking awful taste in my mouth goes away because otherwise there's going to be a fucking problem yeah fucking Larry Ekis's brother-in-law what was his name? Um, he grew up in in um, his Larry Ekis's ex-wife was from Deffer, if I do believe. But his brother, his brother, what the frick? But now my my seat won't go back up. Now my seat won't go back up. Oh, that's nice. I put my seat back. I had my seat back and now it's not laying back up again. Oh, you son of a bitch. That's nice, you like that? Fuck. Oh well, that's part of my freaking issues here. So, what was his name? Larry Ekis' his brother is the one who was selling the Adderalls to somebody. Well, Larry Ekis' his brother, ex-brother-in-law they were talking about guns and ammo. Had a whole bag of fucking ammo back in 2008. A whole bag of ammo. Eight or nine. That he put in my, that he had in my van that he was trying to, trying to get me to sell for him. Was that Larry Ekis' um, shotgun ammo? when he was a hunter? Damn it, my fucking chair won't go back up. Excuse my language. Oh, what the freak did you just do to my chair? Oh, well, I'll fix it later. Figure it out. I got a weekend. Now I'm talking funny.
because of this stupid tooth I had done yesterday. Tooth's gonna be told one way or another. That tall bitch, she thinks her shit don't stink. Is she the shakedown bitch? I'm gonna shake you down. You're gonna do this. And I'm gonna, and you're not gonna say a damn word about it. Yep. Fucking shit. Excuse my language, but look, my seat won't go back up. I gotta figure out how to put my seat up. Look at my pail. Look how pale I am. She talks shit on everybody. Hey, you know what? The shoe fits. I wouldn't be talking shit on you if you weren't part of this fucking bullshit. Now what? That's my aunt she's talking about. That's my cousin she's talking about. I don't give a flying fuck if it's your fucking grandparent. You fucked with the wrong mommy. Look, it's auto parts store. Is that Napa? No. Warehouse. Auto parts warehouse. Serving. Auto parts warehouse store. My son didn't want any kids. Well, Karen, I guess you're a little pussy bitch then, huh? You trying to cover your own asses because your son didn't want no fucking kids and didn't want to be man enough to say anything to me about it. Right, Karen? Is that what it was? Your son didn't want kids, but he wanted to have all kinds of nasty fucking sex, right? Well, good. You trying to say that I'm the nasty one? You better turn around and look at yourselves in the fucking mirror, asshole. You nasty bitches! You're a nasty bitch! For me to feel like this, I'm fucking sick. You poisoned the shit out of me, you asshole. This is what happened before. I fucking felt weak, nauseous, throwing up, shit in everywhere. I'm glad that worked out for everybody. I really am. What's that? You trying to say that I did heroin? I never fucking did a fucking day of heroin in my life. Never. Never. I didn't touch my one first fucking crack until I was 29 years old, asshole. And that was what, six months? Six months? Fuck you, jerk off, you're dead. You ain't gonna call me no crackhead, not when I only did it for six months. Jerk off. You're a crackhead, asshole. I'm not I'm not afraid to tell you my fucking my my book's open. I've got an open book. You got a closet fucking faggot book. That's what you got. Truth will be told, and I don't care who tells. I will tell the world. You don't know what led up to anything. So you better look get the facts straight before you look at any fucking footages or videos and judge me on it. You better come speak to me first, bitches. Praise be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you to all my brothers and sisters in Christ. Hallelujah. Peace be with us. Truth be told and justice be served. And I can't wait to get home. I'm so